right, so you're in module one, the big picture. This is lesson one, an introduction to real estate team building. Are you ready to get started? Well, I have a question for you before we begin. How do you answer this question, what do you do for a living? So I don't care where you are out there in the world. Uh, if somebody was just to ask you in a networking, even if you just met them in an elevator at a coffee shop and they say, hey, what do you do for a living? How do you answer it? Well, we like to start a lot of our trainings by asking this question and it's a bit of a setup and I wanna know if you answered the question like this. Did you say, and it's okay if you did, if you said, you answered, I sell real estate, I'm a realtor, I help people find their dream home, I help people invest in real estate, whatever your answer is, you're gonna be like majority of people across the country, real estate agents, when we ask that question, this is what we get. But here's how we're gonna kick off our training in Real Estate Team Builder. We need you to come along on a journey with us to shift your mindset. That's really what I need to help you see right now. And you need to start realizing that you own a real estate business. So I want you to think about that for a second. Most real estate agents answer, I sell real estate or I'm a realtor. Those are true statements. However, it keeps you in the mindset that you're a salesperson. Why most people don't actually say I own a real estate business unless they're the broker owner is exactly the, that point. The real estate agent, maybe you, don't see yourself as a business owner. You think that the person who owns your company that purchased the company and set it up that you now hang your license under, which is a very good idea, which is this, we're going to get into that is the business owner. Well, I'm telling you, you're a business owner. And when you start owning this fact and you shift your mind, you really, your mind to really grasp the fact that I'm a business owner, it becomes your mantra. You will actually start shifting the way that you see things and do things. It's a new mindset, which actually shifts you to get new results. And it's all because you start really owning and believing that you are a small business owner. Here's some potential benefits to building a team. Obviously, it's increasing your revenue and profitability. Some of you may want to have more balance in your life. We hear this a lot. I want to, you want to be able to share and delegate some of the tasks. Maybe you're doing too many things in your business and you like the idea of, of even just having an administrative assistant and maybe one buyer's agent help you with this. Some of you have a lot of leads, uh, meaning that you have a lot of listings and maybe you haven't been leveraging the business that you can get from all of your listings or you maybe just kind of blow off some of your buyer leads. Well, having a team can help you with that as well. Some folks want to create more a higher ranking and market share in their area that they work uh, and you can do that with, with building a team. Still others, maybe you want all these things that are on this list actually. Maybe you want to just build a more valuable asset, which you can definitely do with a team, which will lead you to your eventual exit strategy. Uh, still others see it's, they bring more credibility for their clients and of course exposure and the reach of your brand is possible when you have other people that are basically ambassadors for your brand. And then of course a huge benefit, once you have your team systems in place, and you've created a great hub that can be duplicated, then you can look at expansion teams and creating satellite teams in other areas of your market or even in other states. So if there's benefits, there's pitfalls. And probably the, the first bullet here is what we hear most of the time. It's people that start building a team before they're actually ready for it. As a matter of fact, majority of my clients in the past years have been people who have, who have found me and said, Jan, I need your help came across you for real estate coaching, team coaching, and I jumped in too soon. I didn't have everything in place. I didn't know what I was getting into. Can you help me? And the answer is, of course, yes, we can. And that's why you're in this program. So if you've already started the process, you may want to kind of come back in and take a look at what you need to do first because you'll discover, otherwise you'll discover the frustrations of building a team before you're ready, which will actually turn you off totally from even doing it in the future, which some of you probably have experienced. So you have to be ready for a team. Why? Because the buyer's agents or the team members that you're going to bring on are looking for something in particular. We're going to really talk a lot about that. And, and just as a, a sneak little peek here, it is culture, structure, support, mentoring, training. That's what people want. Okay. It's not just leads. They are looking for that guidance and structure. The other thing that is a potential pitfall that many folks building a team have fallen into is they discovered that they're not really into managing other people 
training or mentoring them. And as I just stated, that's what a lot of the agents are looking for. As a matter of fact, that is the perfect member to join a team in most cases is someone who's not you, who is not the entrepreneur, who doesn't want to go out or has had a hard time figuring out how to be a top agent. So they're looking for this. And if you're not a manager or a trainer or a mentor and you want to build a team, it's fine. You've got to then hire the right person to do that task while you go out perhaps and just take more listings, be the rainmaker and have someone else in a key position. Uh, with people, sometimes comes drama and turnover. And we are going to help you through a process later in the modules about being real clear about who you are and then a process to hire and select the right people that fit. Okay, so we're going to help you figure out how to find that right fit. But just know, of course, in small businesses and when you're dealing with people, there is sometimes drama. So you're going to have to be all right with that. However, we're going to hopefully show you, and if you take our advice, we're going to show you how to make that uh, a lot easier, okay, uh, by hiring the right people the first time around. So here's how you know you're ready for a team. And, and, and here's the, the bottom line. These key things that we're covering in the rest of this lesson is a setup for everything that we're doing in the Real Estate Team Builder Program. But you're ready for a team when you have your own house in order first. And what do I mean by that? You have your core real estate systems in place. How you work with sellers, how you work with buyers, how you do escrows. That's clear. It's not all up in your head. It's out into a system that somebody could plug into. You also know you're ready for a team when you have a clear business purpose and brand. You can articulate that and you can use that when you're recruiting and hiring people to your team. You also need to have a very defined value proposition, not only for your buyers and sellers, but also for the agents that you want to attract to your team. You also need adequate resources. And, and what I mean here is that you may need to expand, for example, your software system. Maybe you have a CRM like Top Producer or your company uses a CRM uh, and you maybe need to get in a, a bigger version of that or a team version. You may need to purchase more hardware or software computers, equipment, etc. And the last thing you know when you're ready for a team is when you actually have the structure and you've thought through the organization the way you want to build your team out and you've already planned that, okay? That's how you know you're ready. We're going to help you with all these points through this training. I want to cover four principles that we have here at the Real, at Real Estate Team Builder and WBNL Coaching. The first principle, we're borrowing it from Stephen Covey, if you've read The Seven Habits of Highly Successful People, begin with the end in mind. I love this. And if we start there first, that is you're picturing yourself down the road at some point where you have built a valuable asset and an exciting business and you've created an exit strategy for yourself. That is beginning with the end in mind, where you want to be down the road, a successful business that maybe you still have some part of, but maybe you're not doing the day-to-day -day that you are now. Ultimately, you are you have either sold it or you have trained your replacement and you're benefiting from the residual income. That's principle number one, begin with the end in mind, which ultimately is your exit strategy. Principle number two, you're going to hear us say this again and again and again. It's about running it like a business. Remember, what do you do for a living? The answer is, thank you, I'm hearing it. I am a real estate business owner. I own a real estate business. And when you start running your business like a business, again, we're going to help you through this process. Magical things start to happen because you'll start getting aligned, connected with everything that you need to do, and then the prosperity comes from alignment and connection. So running it like a business is the first step, and that's principle number two for a real estate team builder. Number three is the brokerage within a brokerage model. And simply put, this is the idea that you are building a small team within your brokerage without the headaches that your broker has to deal with, the overhead, the risk and liability, the payroll and, hand and cutting the commission checks, and all the other things that come with the bricks and mortar of running a brokerage. So you get to do the best part about that and let the broker handle all those things. And the best part is basically getting out and making more sales, building your team, helping them be more successful, and ulti ultimately everybody wins. The broker wins, you win, your team members win, and of course your clients win. So what we're gonna be talking to you about through Real Estate Team Builder is really the same principles that we use to coach and train brokers that are, that are building a 
a small business for themselves, that they're building their brokerage, except when we're dealing with brokers, we're helping them with all those other things that you don't have to worry about, all those other headaches, okay? So the brokerage within a brokerage model, principle number three, that brings us to number four, and a definite must uh, read, or if you're not into reading, download the Emith Revisited and listen to this. We've actually created a bit of a Cliff Notes version for you with the key points, and it's in your downloads for this module. And I wanna cover a couple key principles in this book. That is the foundation for a lot of our real estate team builder training. The first one you're going to hear me say it throughout the training is working on your business while you're working in your business. What does that mean? In your business is what you're doing all the time right now. It's the chaos of your real estate business. So here's a question. Is it the business running you? Or are you running the business? Well, we're going to help you with this. We're going to help you with some time management ideas. And the only way you're going to be able to start working on the systems and the strategies and the action items that we're going to give you through this program is if you embrace this concept and you use time blocking to schedule time in your week to work on your business. The working in the business happens all the time. You need to start taking control, running it like a business, and you're going to have to schedule some time to work on your business. So the E-Myth Revisited, Michael Gerber, makes a statement that says why most businesses fail. The the E-Myth stands for the entrepreneurial myth, and why most businesses fail is that they're not started by entrepreneurs. They're started by technicians who are really good at something, selling something, maybe repairing motorcycles, maybe baking cookies. They're great at whatever, and they're passionate about whatever it is they do, and they're like, hey, I want to start a business. And the reason why most small businesses fail is because they've got somebody that is the truly the technician, but they don't have the vision or they don't have the know-how to actually do the financial and business part of running the business, okay? So we're gonna help you with that, those ideas as we go through as well. And another point is thinking like a franchise. A, a key point in the book, Michael Gerber talks about, when you start putting your business systems in place, think franchising. Think how would I show someone else to do exactly what I do? And what I love about this, of course, is this is the foundation for creating expansion and satellite teams for you you in other markets. And one other main principle in the E-Myth that I want to just briefly touch on here is about building a business takes three skill sets to be really successful. You have to have these three skill sets or you've got to find people that are going to help you, that are going to provide this for you. So the entrepreneur, hopefully this is you, right? The entrepreneur this is the, provides the vision, can really see where it is that you want to go. The manager provides the order and the systems, basically the roadmap to get where the entrepreneur has shared the vision. And then the technician is the person or people who are providing the output. They're actually getting things done that are doing the working in the business part, right? Now, in the beginning, when you started your real estate business, where you are right now, you you need to be all three of these things, really, to be successful. Uh, And this is what the E-Myth really is talking about, in regards to most people are technicians and they're great technicians and they don't have the other two pieces sometimes. All right, so that's the keys um, in this principle number four and it's all around the E-Myth Revisited. So for this lesson, I'm going to remind you to, on a couple action items, one obviously is to download the key points for the E-Myth and and even read the book or download the audio and listen to it. You'll really get some insights and you'll understand the foundation for um, what what to me is a must-read business book for all small business owners. And you'll see how we've interwoven a lot of these concepts I just covered, a couple of the key ones, into our Real Estate Team Builder program. And the last thing I'll leave you with is to continue to really hone that new mindset that you are a real estate business owner. We'll see you in lesson two.